Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I will be talking about a safe and how to open it without a key and the combination lock. Um, I have seen a, um, a few uh, videos where they mentioned about opening a safe um, by banging it but um, I thought I'd um, explain to you in detail what we're actually doing uh, and what the result is at the end of it. So this is a, a safe um, which uses a key in here which I'm not going to open anyway because we're not going to use the key and this is the keypad which is and then it opens up here as you can see and then it closes back again. Now I have here removed the panel which sits securely inside it. So if we remove this panel to show you exactly what we are doing so if we remove that, so here we've got the circuit, which is the keypad, which operates that. We have the wire that going into the reset button, and then we've got the wire that's going into the batteries to provide the power, and then we've got another wire going into the solenoid. So what keeps the safe locked at the moment is that is these two bars here, and then in order to open it, the locking mechanism, which is the button here, turns this metal piece and pulls this in. Now what's stopping it from going in at the moment is the solenoid that's sitting at the bottom here, which I will show you if you can actually see under here. That's the solenoid sitting here. So when we press the button with the keypad or even the, the key here, all it does is presses the solenoid downwards and like, say for example, where are we? like this and then automatically the lock will automatically open. So say for example if we were to press this down right now with the finger and it goes back in. So and it comes back up again. And this is the this is actually what happens when we try to open it with a with a key or with a pin is that the solenoid is engaged with the pin, the solenoid actually works with this here and with the key it manually presses the solenoid down and it opens up. So when we see the video or when we see the reasons to open this safe, this one in particular, uh, without a key and without a uh, keypad if there's no batteries in it and it's locked, um, you actually take the entire safe because you cannot do this if the safe is actually mounted on the wall. So if the safe isn't mounted on the wall, uh, and it doesn't matter how much stuff is in the safe, but it needs to open up. So what we're doing here is when we actually lift the safe and we bounce it down or sort of bang it down slightly, um, the solenoid that sits here underneath, which I'll show you here, this here, this piece here, let me zoom in, maybe I'll give you a clearer picture of what's going on. Here, here we are. So if you can see the solenoid here, that, uh, this one here, that. So that gets pushed down when we bang it down and it opens up like that. So, so just to remember, when the, when the safe is um, fully locked, what you do is, as you have seen already, as lock this for you so we know what's what's going on and it's better to um, put the screws back in Just need to align the um, 
that actually the whole so we know exactly where the screw is so I can actually show you because it's never that easy to um, push it back into its place okay sorry safe is now, we can actually close the door now, so, so there's a safe, let me zoom out again, so yeah, so, here we go. and it's locked, give it a minute, and now it's locked, now if we were to open this, all we need to do is bend this down, and the solenoid would go down, but when you, while you're doing that, you have to make sure that you've got your hand slightly on the knob because when the solenoid goes down, it can come back up straight away. So you have to make sure that your hand is touching that, but you don't press it too much because it, that will stop it from dropping. So you just have it in between, and you'll hear this slight click when it drops down, and that is the moment where you have to twist it and actually open the safe. Um, I can try and see if it works. I'm obviously not going to bang it on the floor. I just need to bang it on something soft just to get that effect. So if we were to bang it, we go and again. It's just open now, here we are. It takes a few attempts, but it's opened up, here we are. So, yeah, so basically you have to bounce it on something soft, you don't want to bang it on the floor. So yeah, once the solenoid goes down, it's giving you access to replace the batteries and lock it back again. And then, again. hoping the pin's the same. Yep, there we go. Well, thanks for watching once again, and um, please do subscribe, and um, if you have any questions feel free to ask, but I just showed you the inside of the safe so you know how it works. Hopefully that will help you, because I had this in my garage, bought this over a year ago, and never used it. Lost the keys, went back in to um, use it or, you know, give it to a friend of mine, but um, I couldn't find the keys, so I thought, alright, let's just go open it up. And the keypad was locked so um, after digging a lot of research I found out that if we bang it it opens up but to me just banging it was not the answer I wanted to go in detail to see exactly what's going on inside the safe so if we actually tried to do you know a particular um, uh, you know motion to open it what exactly is it actually doing because I could be banging it the wrong place or whatever so uh, yeah so basically all we're doing is dropping the solenoid down let, allowing it to fall so that would allow the, the lock to open and we can actually open the safe with the keypad then or oh, well sorry you open the safe with the hit this and replace the batteries and then use the keypad to open and close the safe well until next time thanks for watching and please do subscribe bye for now